guitar practice session 91224. These are basically just sloppy practice sessions going over whatever it is that I think I need work on at any given day, hoping that this will help me give a, a steady, stable schedule, as well as be able to articulate the things I'm working on, which hopefully will better implant them in my mind. Also possibly being useful to other people working on similar concepts. Also possibly providing useful uh, feedback if anybody sees a better way to do whatever it is I'm currently uh, working on. I'm going to be using this worksheet which has the fretboard mapped out here with the low or heavy string on top. The concept that I'm thinking about doing or I tried to do, which might be a little bit different than a lot of other stuff out there, is I try to get everything basically going the same way, meaning I would like to have the low string on top as though I'm looking from behind the guitar as I am when I'm playing the guitar. And when I put the information on screen, it'll also look like I'm playing left-handed because I'm trying to get everything basically going the same way so you can line up the worksheet to what I'm kind of fingering uh, on the screen is the general idea. If you want to use this worksheet for your own practice sessions, possibly using it to make your own instructional videos, I think it's a, a great way to learn. Don't worry about you know plagiarism or anything like that. I'll provide the the worksheets. You can change them, do whatever you want to them, and if they become if they're useful to you, then use that as a launching board to do whatever you are working on. So this time I'm basically working on the Lydian mode, uh, I'm looking at what I call shape number one, which you can also call uh, a G shape if you're using uh, the caged convention. You can also call it the, uh, I'm calling it absolute mode number four or the minor mode or minor scale or Aeolian mode because if you played it from the top, it would be here. And these are just some things I'm trying to look at things from different angles, not just because that's how other people explain them, but also because that gives me a different perspective of what I'm looking at because I think all these things are related and so you just end up going around in circles. I'd like to think about any point I start at and try to be able to think of it from that angle. So I'm trying to use these different terminologies to do that and I'm trying to come up with a session so I can practice as many things as I can at one time. In this case, looking starting here, practicing the Lydian mode, practicing the steps between each note within the Lydian mode, practicing the intervals, which we have listed here, although this one's a little wonky, the one that's off here because of my worksheet makes it a flat fifth or diminished fifth instead of an augmented fourth. So we'll deal with that. I'll explain that and the kind of kink in the worksheet that I could make a really complex formula to fix, but I'm not sure I want to do that because it makes it all complicated. But there is that. And uh, so, so then I'm also going to be looking at the shapes, trying to define the shapes. I try to come up with little stories about the shapes to better make a, a picture in my mind so that I can just see it another way in terms of the shapes. I'm trying to look at the related modes as they relate to the Lydian using the major scale Ionian as a key to label the modes in an absolute numbering system, which makes it easier for me to then think, well, if I'm in the Lydian, and I'm on the second of the Lydian, what, what mode would that be? It's easier if I, if I number them, I can use a numbering system. So that's another thing I'm kind of uh, working on. We'll count it upwards, we'll count it backwards in terms of, of the modes. And that's what I basically went over today. And my idea is that basically I'm just gonna, I do my practice sessions and then I try to do my little recap here of what I did. So that's what I did. And then I started just kind of playing around uh, here and I keep on thinking I'm going to put the the notes on the scale, but I was I'm, and I haven't edited or anything. I was just kind of noodling around in the key of A minor because that's my that's the thing. I when my my brain goes tired, that's usually what I'm playing in. And then I think I went to like G minor that I was playing in, and then I went to D minor <laughs> which I was playing in. Uh, and I think that's it. and I was just noodling around. I think between those three and i usually when i'm messing around in the minor modes i i throw in that like the bluesy you know flat fifth note that's usually what i'm kind of noodling around with when i'm tired some kind of minor mode usually a minor and then g minor and d minor uh because they got those nice open strings and uh so that's it
So now I'm just continuing on with our cycle, looking at uh, the Lydian mode, looking at it in what I'm calling shape number one, just generically. A lot of people call it shape number one. I can also call it a G-shaped from the cage system because if I looked at the related mode of the Ionian, which is the C here, it would be making that G shape up at the top of the shape, which would be similar to the open shape. So some people name it thusly like that. You can also name this shape the Aeolian shape, or what I would call absolute mode number six, uh, Aeolian or minor scale shape, because if we start at that top note, you would naturally play a minor scale. But we want to be playing in the Lydian in this shape. So the first question is, well, if I'm in this shape, and I know this is an Aeolian shape, uh, a minor scale shape, how can I get up to the Lydian? Well, I know that the minor shape starts on the second of its related major, and uh, the Lydian starts on the fourth of its related major. So if I start up here and I know I'm on the sixth, I can just count up till I go around the horn back to the fourth in this shape. So I can say, okay, well, this is gonna be six, seven, eight, or one, two, three, four. So now I'm on the fourth, so it's gonna be that F. So if I start at the F in this shape, shape number one, that's gonna be basically uh, the Lydian shape. Other way we might see it is we might say, okay, I'm just going to count up to get to the related C major, which I might just know by the shape. I can see that box and I see the C is right there. Or I might just count it up and say, well, if I'm on the fourth, uh, I'm sorry, if I'm on the sixth of the uh, minor scale, which is the sixth mode in essence, I would say six, seven, eight, or one, that gets me to the C. And now I wanna get to the Lydian and the Lydian is basically the fourth of the related major scale. So I can say if this is the one, two, three, four, and that's gonna get me to the F. Okay, so then I can also think, all right, where I can look at it by shapes. And I'm breaking up my shapes to see it this way, where I have what I call the double stop box. And then I've got the two note per string, what I'm calling the meat of the hamburger, because it ties into my thinking of the uh, the pentatonic scale, and then the box double stop, and then we're back to the top part of this double stop box. So the uh, Lydian is housed in within the box. So you might say, okay, all I have to do is locate the box. That's where my half steps are, are packed, one on top of the other, one half step on the top floor, the bottom floor. I kind of think of, I'm starting to think of it as kind of like a house here to give me a mental picture of it. And the C is like in the penthouse of the house because that's the major scale. So they, so that one is like the upper he's facing or they are, have the master bedroom and they're facing out into the, into the field. It's beautiful. And then the, 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 we saw last time that the Phrygian is down on the first floor in, in the back, kind of somewhat in the basement because it's a little bit of a darker or minor mode, but then the F is right under the C, and again, I'm imagining it's facing to the right, which has the nicer scenery, I'm, I'm saying, because the because the major scales, uh, I'm, I'm thinking, are, are in the nicer part of the house. I don't know, I'm just trying to make an analogy. So it's right under the C in the box. So that's another way you might see it. So it's right under the C, right there in our box house, and then we also have it down here uh, in, in the bottom of this box, which has been shifted up due to the kink of the tuning. So if, it, if, if our mode starts in the box, it'll always be in the box, whether the box is on the right side of our shape or whether it's on the left side of the shape. All right, so that's gonna be that. And then we could say, all right, uh, if I was to like think about these shapes, I could say, uh, let's put this on top. Well, well, first let's say, what if I like imagined this was on my top string because sometimes I think of my top strings more easily. What if that F was up here? Where's my F up here? It's right there. Now, normally when I, when I name my shapes, I name them from my pointer finger moving forward. And this one, of course, it's on the, it's on the back end. 
So I would name this shape basically after this note if I was naming it by mode. So if I was up here on, that's 10, on the D, I would call this shape number three. You might also call it a D shape because you have your, if you look at the related major in a cage system, you've got your D shape here and, or you might play it like that. And then uh, you can also call it shape uh, number three is the Dorian shape, right? It's the Dorian shape because if I played it from my pointer up top, I would be playing a Dorian. But we're not playing from the pointer in this case. We're saying, okay, it's in the, that Dorian shape, but I'm still starting at my pinky. And then I would get that same pattern. So just to see the same pattern, it's like, okay, it would be like I'm starting on that, that F and then I'm moving through it. So if I started that F, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that same pattern should basically uh, match this pattern here. And then this F is, if I started from there, it would be more like the, the normal shape. Like if I found this F kind of leaning forward up top, it would be at the 12, uh, but so, or the, or the open string and, but it actually starts on the second note as many of the, the major scales do because, because a lot of times it has that first note. If you start on the first note, it would be on the minor. The second note would be basically the major. Okay. So that's that. So let's go ahead and then say, all right, how about this shape? What does it look like? Well, we start on what I'm calling the bottom of the double stop box, the double stop house, the double stop square, and we're on that F. And then we go to what I call the two note per string hamburger, which is kind of a standalone bit, boom, boom. And then we go to what I call the top of the house double stop or the square double stop, which has been shifted because there's been like an earthquake. And it's like, so, so we go here. Now that's normal, the top part hasn't been shifted, but the bottom part has totally been shifted. The base has been shifted out and that's why we move it up here, duh, duh, and then we end it right there. So if I was to count that out then, I could start here at this F, I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight of course is the octave. Okay, so then I could say, all right, that's cool. Let's do the, let's good, just do our good old intervals. Now, I can also think, let's think first of the half steps and try to do it that way first. If I walk this up in holes and half steps to look at where, where's the difference between the Lydian, which is a major mode and it's related major in terms of whole steps and half steps. Well, I now the difference in this mode compared to its relative major is going to be the fourth. We can see the fourth over here. The interval is kind of misnamed because the formula could name it two different ways and the way Excel formula is working, it's pulling in the wrong one. I could try to fix it to try to pull in the right one depending on the circumstances, but that would be a much more complex formula. So I'm gonna try not to let it throw me off here. So I can see here, this is uh, the first, the second, the third, and then this should be the fourth, which is being called the diminished or flat fifth. And I should be, it should be called an augmented fourth so so we can call it either one so i'm just going to try to be okay with that in our format here so if i went from then this way and i say okay from the first to the second if i go from here to here that's a whole step on uh the lydian if i go from the second to the third of the lydian from here to here that's going to be a whole step if I go from the third of the Lydian to the fourth of the Lydian, it's gonna be here to here. That's a whole step, which is the odd one, which because if it was the major, it would be a half step resulting in the funny interval, which is should be called an augmented fourth rather than uh, a flat fifth. So that's the weird one. And then when we go from the fourth to the fifth, we have another kind of off step from the, from the major to get us back in sync which is gonna be a half step. And then when we go from the fifth of the Lydian to the sixth of the Lydian, that's gonna be a whole step. And then when we go from the sixth of the Lydian to the seventh of the Lydian, 
that's going to be a whole step. And then when we go from seven back to eight or one, that's the half step. So it's still, Lydian still has, like the major scale, that leading tone getting us back home, which is, you know, kind of one of the interesting components of the major scale. So where are the half steps then? Well, they're, they're in the box. The box is shifted up here in this case. So if we go from, once again, uh, the first to the second, to to first to the second is a whole step second to the third is a whole step and then third to the fourth is a whole step and then the half steps from the fourth to the fifth we have our half step and when i'm at the top of the box there's only one note in between so fifth to the sixth is a whole step and then six to the seventh is a whole step and then seven to eight is the half step so within this box that's going to be our our uh, half steps. Okay, and they're landing on four, five, seven, eight. Right, four, five, seven, eight. So four, five, seven, eight. I know in the Lydian, one way to think of it is that I know the Lydians like the major, so there's going to be a half step leading into it, uh, seven, eight, and then there's one note in between. So that means it has to be four, five, six, and then seven, eight, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's seven, eight is there. So it must be the four, five, four, five, seven, eight. Okay. So now let's say, let's count up the intervals and say, all right, let me just look at the intervals then and say, it's like the major mode, the Lydian. So if I start here and I go from the first to the second, then that's gotta be a two note away major second. Most modes have that uh, major second and I can count that up by saying the difference between these two strings is five four three two so two note away major second the inverse of that would be 12 minus two which would be a 10 note away uh, and 10 note away would be a minor seven so if I went from this F to, to that G that's a two note away major second if I started at the G and think of that as my root and went this way would be a 10 note away uh, minor seven and I can see that because I can count this way and say how does that make sense I can say well if that's my G let's count it up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten gets me to the F so if I think of it as a circle you can think of the inverse right it's going one way and then it's going the other all right let's go from the two the second to the third of the Lydian so the third of the Lydian is it's a major mode therefore the third of the Lydian by definition has to be a four note away major third because that's what makes it a major mode so I know that I can count that by saying it's going to be five going from here to here minus one is four that's how I get the four notes away 12 minus four is eight and therefore the inverse is an eight note away which would be a minor uh, ninth so if I go this way from F to A that's going to be a four note away major third if I went from A to F that would be an eight note away minor ninth noting that when I go the inverse of a minor is usually a major and the inverse of a major is a minor the inverse of the perfects are themselves perfects right I also note that the third of a Lydian mode, uh, I can always say, well, the Lydian mode is the fourth mode. Uh, therefore, it's three modes away from the major scale. So I can look at any other area, say, well, if this is the third, I can add three to it. Three plus three is six, which gives me what I'm calling the absolute mode number, mode number six related to the related major mode and that's so i'm going to call it absolute mode number six which is the aeolian so i can just say well the, the third of the lydian is is three plus three or the sixth mode which is the aeolian or minor mode if i started from the a okay so then let's go from the three the third to the fourth the third to the fourth this is the funny one it should be called an augmented fourth instead of a diminished or flat fifth. So I'm going to say here's 
uh, going from here to here. It's a bit of a reach. Wait a sec. Uh, going from here, yeah, that's right. So, and that's that, that's, that gives you that funky kind of tension y sound because it's the flat fifth or the augmented fourth. And that's n unusual <laughs> to have in there. Uh, and so we're going to say that that's going to be then uh, a, a, a six note away uh, augmented fourth. And I can count that by saying five, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Six note away augmented fourth. The inverse of that would be 12 minus six, which interestingly is also six notes away. So that's a weird one. And it's funny that that's like that really kind of diminish, that really kind of uh, uh, tension-y sound is the invert, that's the middle bit. So if you take the inverse, it's the same. So if I went from the here to here, it's a six note away, augmented fourth, which is the same as a diminished fifth. If I went from here, started from the B, it's still apparently a six note away which would be a diminished fifth or augmented fourth. Uh, hopefully I got that right, because that's a little strange. I'm still wrapping my head around that. Okay, so then we're going to go, all right, let's go to the fifth. The fifth of a Lydian, we're back to the, our normal, the normalness, uh, which is just a seven note away, perfect fifth. And that's the normal place it would be, unless there's a kink in the tuning. So that makes sense. And I can count that up by saying 5, 10, 9, 8, 7. The inverse of that would be 12 minus 7, which would be 5. Therefore, that would be a 5 note away, uh, a 5 note away, <laughs> uh, perfect fourth. So if I go from F to C, 7 note away, perfect fifth. If I went from C to F, 5 note away, perfect fourth. Okay, let's go to the sixth. The sixth of the Lydian is a nine note away major six. So it's a proper major component. And so it's funny that the Lydian, the funny one, happens to be in the perfects that are off. So the Lydian is pretty weird because you would think it would be one of the major bits become minor, but no, it's, the, it's one of the perfect bits that becomes unperfect apparently. So that's kind of interesting, might help to memorize. But we're gonna say here, so this is a normal uh, nine note away major ninth, which looks normal, but no kink in the tuning, messing up that shape. So boom, boom. And so we can count that up because it's five, 10, nine, because five notes per string, five, 10, and then back here to nine. Inverse of that, 12 minus 9, 9, 10, 11, 12 is a three note away, minor third. So if I went from the F to the D, nine note away, major six. If I went to the D, from the D to the F, three note away, minor third. All right, let's go from there to then the seventh. The seventh of the Lydian is like a good major mode, also a major seven. So, no, so it's just right in alignment major seven down here so we're gonna go do, do. it's shifted up because we are crossing the kink in the tuning so if it wasn't for this kink in the tuning it would be back one so now it's up here it's a little bit tighter so in other words if i moved it up to this shape i'd have to move this back to here but then i have to go here okay and then i can count that up by saying from here, five, 10, and then I gotta go here to get to 15 because of the kink of the tuning. 14, 13, uh, 12, 11. So there's 11 note away, which is a, a major seven. The inverse of that would be 12 minus 11, which would be a one note away minor second. So if I go from F to E, 11 note away major 7th. If I went from this uh, E to F, 1 note away minor 2nd. Uh, and then, of course, we get to the 12 note away octave. 
which is which is shifted up because of the kink of the tuning. If I was going 12 notes away from the C, I'd have to go back one. But here it's up tighter because of the kink and the tuning. 12 notes away, 5, 10, and then 15, and then uh, 15, 14, 13, 12. Okay, so now let's go the other way and say, now I'm gonna go from here measuring from this point. So if I was on the bottom bit here, I can say, I can say, where's my, where am I shape wise? If I'm down here, I'm starting at the bottom of the, the, the house double stop, the box double stop. And then I'm going doot doot. And then I'm going to the top of the box double stop. Wait a second. Let's hear, which I have to move inward because of the kink in the tuning. Da, da, da. And then I'm gonna go to what I call the two note per string hamburger. Boom, boom. And then I'm going to the bottom of what I call the double stop box or house shape. Boom. And there it is on the bottom floor, bottom right floor, right under the, right under the C penthouse of the house box. So if I was to count that out then, I'd say we go, this is going to be 8 or 1, so I'm going to say 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, and then I can say, alright, let's do the, let's just do our intervals comparing to this one, which is usually kind of backwards, but if we think of it as a circle, it still, kind of, it still makes sense that way because we're looking at the inverse interval in essence, but pitch wise it's in a circle and we're not worried about octaves. So I'm gonna say then, uh, if this is the seventh, if this is the eight or one, going back to the one behind it, that would be the seventh, which for the Lydian, because it's a major mode, is an 11 note away major seventh, which is right behind it. How do I know it's 11 notes away going backwards? because there's one note in between, that would be a one note away minor second, and the inverse of that would be 12 minus one, which would be an 11 note away major seven. So if I went from the F back to the E, that would be a 12 note away, uh, I'm sorry, an 11 note away minor se a major seventh, 11 note away major seventh, and if I went from D, uh, from the E to F, one note away, major, uh, minor, second. Man, messing up my terms. All right, so then I'm going to go back here. They're confusing. To, so I'm going to go, so what about the sixth of the Lydian? The sixth of the Lydian is going to be then a nine note away, major sixth. So if I measured from here to here, nine note away, major six. How do I get there? Well, I can say that the difference between these notes, if there's a kink in the tuning, is there's five, uh, five, four, three. So going that way, it would be a three note away, which would be a minor third. Therefore, 12 minus three is uh, 12 minus three, nine ten is nine, right? Nine note away, major six. Therefore, if I went from the F to the D, that would be the nine note away major six. If I went from the D to the F, that would be a three note away minor third, noting that you might think it looks like a four note away major third, but it's not because of the kink in the tuning and it's shifted back there. So then I'm gonna go back to the fifth. So the fifth of the Lydian, uh, which is a major mode and most modes have the normal fifth which is a uh, perfect fifth whether they be major or minor so we have the seven note away uh, perfect fifth seven note away perfect fifth how do I know that well I can count up and there's a kink in the tuning so it goes right to the fifth right there which right there would be five notes away perfect fourth 12 minus five would be uh, seven which would be a seven note away perfect fifth so going from F to C, going from the bottom up, is a seven note away perfect fifth. Going from the C to the F is a uh, five note away perfect fourth, which usually 
looks like it would be right underneath, but no, it's shifted up because of the kink in the tuning between these two strings. Then we're going down to the fourth, which is labeled here as a diminished fifth, which is the same name, but we want to call it an augmented fourth so that we have a fourth in our intervals. So we're going to call it an, an augmented fourth. And so if that's the funny one, that gives us a really kind of tensiony sound, which is actually kind of cool to throw in there from time to time. So that's going to be our augmented uh, fourth, and it's going to be a six note away augmented fourth. And then what's funny is that if I take the inverse 12, and I can 12, well, how do I know that I can count up? It's going to be five here and then six. And then, so that would be once again, a six note away flat fifth or augmented fourth. And then if 12 minus six is also six, which gets us to the same one. So that funny diminishing sound is a six note away flat fifth or augmented fourth, whether I go this way or this way, which is funny. Very interesting, very, I am gonna have to ponder that deeply in meditation. All right, we're gonna then go to, okay, I'm going the wrong way now. So then I'm gonna go over to this one. So now I'm on the third. So we're now on uh, the third, the third, which is going to be, where did, where did that go? Here, so that's gonna be a four note away uh, major third. And I'm measuring from the bottom one, not this top one. Four note away major third. How do I know that? Because if I count here, it'd be five, ten, nine, eight. So that would be an eight note away minor, uh, minor nine, minor ninth. And if I say 12 minus eight, eight, nine, to 11, 12, it's a four note away major third. So measuring from the bottom to the top this way is is a four note away major third. Measuring this way, top to bottom, eight note away uh, minor ninth. Hopefully I got that correct. And then we're gonna go down to the second here, the second and say, all right, what is that one? The second on the Lydian is like most modes uh, a major second so we're going down to here wait that's not right all right so it's a two note away major second and i'm measuring from down here again and so and so how do i know that because if i go from here counting up it'd be five and then ten so if I went from the G, counting from the G, it would be a 10 note away, which would be a minor seventh. 12 minus 10 is two, two note away, major second. So going from the top, bottom to the top, two note away, major second, going from the G to the F, 10 note away, minor seven. All right, and then we go back then to the octave. Reminds me of that song, by that band that named themselves after some dude's eyelash. Some dude named Billy's eyelash. They called their band Billy's eyelash, which is weird, but you know, that's how rock stars are. Anyways, that's gonna be going that way. And so now let's say that we're gonna go down here and go from this F around the horn up to this F. So if I do that, I could say, okay, I'm gonna start here where is that that's once again the bottom of the house so we're here uh even though it's been shifted up because of the earthquake and it's right there bottom right of the box on the box double stop we go we go uh boom we go boom boom and then we're, we go here which is actually the top of what i call the double stop box or the double stop house so that goes uh dune uh, dune dune and then that repeats up top oh oh hold on control z wait what happened 
and then that repeats up here. So repeat, duh, 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 and then we're at the bottom of what I would call the double stop box. Duh, 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 and we end up back home at the bottom of the box house. Okay, so, so then, so if I was to count that out, I could say this is gonna be the one, one, two, and then uh, three, four, five, which repeats up top again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so that makes sense, I think. Uh, and then we're gonna say, then let's just do our, our normal, uh, intervals from here. So if I was starting on this string, thinking of my intervals, the second of the Lydian is going to be once again a two note away uh, major second. So two note away major second, boom, boom. And the inverse of that would be 12 minus two, which would be a 10 note away uh, minor seventh. So if I go from F to G, two note away major second. If I go from G to F, 10 note away minor seven. Let's go, and then I also know that the second of the Lydian is two plus uh, three, because the Lydian is, is the fourth mode, which means it's three notes away from the first of the related major, and therefore I can add three to any relative position to the Lydian to get what I would call the absolute major mode, the absolute mode number, which is, would be five, in this case, five being mixolydian. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back to here, and or up one, so now we're on the third of the lydian. Third of the lydian, lydian is a major mode, and therefore the third is defined as a four note away major third, which is back to its normal shape because there's no kink in the tuning between those two. The earthquake did not affect the uh, step between these two. So it's back to normal. Four note away, major third. Inverse of that, 12 minus four would be eight. So if I went from the F to the A, that's gonna be a four note away, major third. If I went from A to F, eight note away, uh, minor sixth. All right, let's go from the three to the four. Three to the four. So that's the funny one. We're on the funny interval now for the Lydian, which is gonna be, the normal looks like a flat fifth. So normally people would probably call that a flat fifth, but we need a fourth here. So instead of calling it a flat fish or fifth, we're gonna call it an augmented fourth. So it's a six note away, which you can call a flat fifth or an augmented fourth. We're gonna call it here an augmented fourth. And uh, and I can, I can see that it's, uh, five, six notes away, and then funnily, funnily, which is funny, six minus, 12 minus six is six. So if I go from F to B, six note away, flat fifth or augmented fourth. If I go from B to F, also six note away, flat fifth, augmented fourth. All right, and then if I go to the fifth of the Lydian, we're back to normal. Uh, it's just a normal, uh, uh, fifth, just a normal fifth. These are seven note away, perfect fifth, uh, power chord, seven, 12 minus seven is five, which would be a five note away, uh, perfect fourth. So if I go from F to C, seven note away, perfect fifth. If I go from C to F, five note away, uh, perfect fourth. All right, that repeats up top, but we're gonna get a little bit confuse up here because now I'm going to try to try to go back to this A measure it not to this F but to this F down here so now I'm measuring from the bottom to the top which is inverted normally I would be measuring if I look at this interval from the A to the F so that's the first way we might want to see it and I'm also going through an octave but I'm trying to imagine it as a circle so that I can start to see these shapes and see what interval that would be which I don't really have to count all the time after I kind of learn the interval, just know what that interval is. So if I was counting from A, it'd be 5, 10, 15, 16. There's only 12 notes in the musical alphabet, 12 minus 16. 
uh, would be basically 6 minus 2 would be 4. So that, that interval then would be a 4 note away, uh, which would be a major third if I was measuring from the A. But if I'm measuring from, from the F, it's going to be four, 12 minus 4, which is 8, and that would be an, uh, wait a sec, did I get that right? <laughs> it should be, let me do that again. It would be 5, 10, 15, uh, 20. Hold on a sec. 5, 10, 15, 20 is what it should be. And then 20 minus 12 would be like 10 minus 2 or 8. So sorry about that. That should be an 8 note away, which would be a minor 6 if I was going from the A to the F. And then if I take 12 minus 8, that would be 4, which would give us our 4 note away major third. Okay, I think I got that. So if I measured from the bottom to the top, which is not what we would normally do, but we can go this way, thinking of the F, that would be a 4 note away uh, major third. But if I went from the A to the F, that would be an 8 note away minor, uh, minor sixth. Okay, hopefully I got that right. And then if I go to the next one, if I didn't, you could tell me, tell me, somebody tell me what is going on around here. So then the next one, we'll go to the B and say I'm measuring this one to that one. So if I went from the B, it would be 5, 10, 15, 20, and then back to 19, 18. 18 minus 12 would basically be 8 minus 2, 8, 7, 6. Therefore, that would be a six note away, uh, which would be a flat fifth or an augmented fourth. So that's that weird one again. 12 minus six is also six notes away, which would be a flat fifth or an augmented fourth. If I go from the F, whoop, F down here to the B, we're gonna call that an augmented fourth. Six note away, augmented fourth from the B to the F that would be a six note away, probably a flat fifth, but they're the same, or augmented fourth. All right, let's go to the next one and say this one's gonna be then from here to here, uh, that's gonna be the fifth of the Lydian, which is a seven note away perfect fifth. How do I count that? Well, I can say, all right, we're gonna say this is gonna be five, 10, 15, 20, 19, 18, 17, 12 minus uh, 17 is basically 17 minus 2, or 7 minus 2, 7, 6, 5. So from here to here, I believe would be a 5 note away, which would be a perfect fourth if I measured from the C. The inverse of that 12 minus the 5 would be 7. So if I go from F to C, it would be a 7 note away, perfect fifth. So if I was seeing this is the F, That would be a seven note away perfect fifth. If I was going from the C, which is more likely the way we'd be thinking of it most of the time, but not always, that would be a uh, five. That would be a five note away perfect fourth because it was inverted. All right, and then we're going to go to the next one, which will be here, and this is going to be the sixth of the Lydian. Sixth of the Lydian is going to be do it to this one. You can do it like that. And so that's going to be the sixth of the Lydian is a nine note away major six. How do we know that? If I count it this way, it'd be five, 10, 15. And then 15 minus 12 would be five minus two, five, four, three. That'd be a three note away minor third. So 12 minus three would be a uh not a nine note away major six so so if i went from the bottom to the top nine note away major six if i went from the top to the bottom that would be a three note away minor third and so i'm just and i'm hoping that i can get to to the point where i just see that interval and i'm not counting anymore i'm trying to say and i can maybe even hear it right and say well oh, yeah that's a three note away minor third or if i went the other way nine note away major six which so that when i start doing more complex chords and stuff i can start to say i could start to see 
and name the intervals basically different ways depending on you know what I'm working on and so then I'm I can go okay so then this one here is going to be a set the seventh of the Lydian we know is an 11 note away major seventh and how can I count that out because if I said here 5 10 15 14 13 12 minus uh, or 13 minus 12 is 1 that would be a one note away uh, minor second uh, so 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 and the inverse of that so, so if I went so, <laughs> so that means that if I went from the F to the E uh, that would be an 11 note away major 7 and then if I went from the E to the F it would be a one note away uh, minor second okay and then we're back to the to uh, the octave so now let's try to go in the other way let's measure from this F and then go up around the horn this way by the way you know I'm quite happy that Elon Musk bought Twitter and then and then he renamed it X because because since they renamed Twitter X there's been a 10x increase in my exercise which has been so my exercise because my exercise so 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 it's like just leave me alone I'm in the middle of a of a set of 100 with 150 reps each on my exercising over okay I don't know that was I'm trying to work on my jokes here as well um, because X and exercise anyway I have to get a better story around it but let's go from this side back now so let's say we're gonna count from this one so again we can look at our shapes here and I'm gonna say all right now I'm just gonna look at this shape so I'm starting at at the bottom the bottom bit of the house part of the box house and then or, or the double stop box and then go back to here and then we're gonna go up to the top bit of the box double stop box boom what am I on the right no I'm not my fingers are wrong my fingers are wrong boom 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 and then we go boom 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 and then that repeats down here uh, that repeats down here boom 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 and then we're at then the top of here so then boom boom I got that right so if I was to count that out then let's count that out we're gonna start here calling that eight or one uh, I'm gonna call it eight seven six five four three and that repeats five four three two one I didn't really do it with my voice on that right but to be be eight eight seven six five four three five four three two one my voice is kind of going here all right so then if I if I measured from this F and we say okay I'm going from the eighth down to the seventh so eight down to the seven that would be a we know that the seventh of the Lydian is an 11 note away major seventh and uh, I can count that by saying well this is one note away that would be a one note away minor second the inverse of that is 12 minus 1 or an 11 note away major 7th so if I went from here to here 11 note away major 7th if I went from E to F one note away minor 2nd all right I'm gonna try to do this a little bit more quickly because this is I've been my, I'm getting tired I might mess up so bear with me if I mess up don't get mad at me and say so now we're gonna go from here to here this is gonna be the sixth so now we're gonna go to the sixth so now I'm going to go uh, boom, boom. That's going to be a nine note away major six. We know that because it's there's a three note distance between those two, which would be a three note away minor third. Twelve minus three is a nine note away major six. So going from F to D is a, is a uh, nine note away major six. Going from D to F, three note away minor third. All right, let's go down. Let's go to the... Uh, fifth then let's go to the fifth then uh, boom so now we're between these two so that's going to be a seven on, on the Lydian it's a the fifth is a seven note away perfect fifth 
which I just happen to know. I can see that because there's five notes between these two. So if I went from C to F, it'd be a five note away, perfect fourth. And five, 12 minus five is seven. Therefore, from F to C, seven note away, perfect fifth. From C to F, five note away, perfect fourth. All right, and then we're gonna go back to the fourth. So the fourth here, and I know that the fourth in the Lydian is the funny one. That's the funny one. And we're, it's named here diminished fifth, but we're going to call it an augmented fourth because that's what we need to call it here. So that's going to be a six note away augmented fourth. How do I know that? Because if I go from here to here, it'd be five. It would be boom, five, six. And if, so that would be a six note away augmented fourth or flat fifth. 12 minus six is also a six note away augmented fourth. Uh, or flat fifth. All right, let's go to the next one. So now we're going to go to here, which, which one am I going? <laughs> oh, I'm getting tired. So this is going to be, uh, I, f I forgot where I'm going. We went from uh, eight, seven, six, five, four. We're going to the three. So now we're going to the third. Boom. So that should be for the Lydian, it's a four note away, major third, four note away, major third. How do I know that? Because between these two, if I started from the A, five, six, seven, eight, it would be an eight note away, minor s s ninth. And the inverse of that would be 12 minus eight, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, which would be four notes away, major third. So if I went from F to A, four note away, major third. If I went from A to F, that would be an eight note away minor ninth. All right, then let's repeat that down here, going back to the C, where we have the same kind of measurement, but now we're gonna start kind of the normal way, counting from this F down to here. So if I saw like this shape, uh, if I saw this, this shape going from this F down to here, what, what would that be? So, so that would, because it's in the Lydian, that would be a seven note away perfect fifth. I can count that by saying five, 10, 15, and then wait, five, 10, 15, 20, 20 minus one would be 19, and tw 19 minus 12 would basically nine minus two, nine, eight, seven, which would be a seven note away perfect fifth. So if, you, if we have this shape just between these two <laughs> notes, and that would be a seven note away perfect fifth. The inverse of that uh, would be the 12 minus seven, which would be five, five note away perfect fourth. If I went the other way. Ah, uh, I can't even pick them, I'm getting tired. So let's go, I'm almost there, almost there. So now I'm gonna go to the next one, which is the funny one which is a four note away, four note away, to, to, uh, and that's the augmented fourth or flat fifth, but we need the augmented fourth here. So if, how can I say, how can I prove that? Six note away augmented fourth be five, 10, 15, 20, 20, uh, 19, 18, 12, 18 minus 12 is eight minus two, eight, seven, six, six notes away. So if I go from here, that's a six note away. Get that funny sound, six note away, augmented fourth. The other way, 12 minus six, also six note away, augmented fourth or flat fifth. Two different names for the same thing. So I'm gonna say, hold on, almost there. Almost there, hold it together, hold it together. All right, we're gonna say here, we're gonna go boom, boom. And so now we're on the third of the Lydian is a four note away uh, uh, major third, four note away major third. How can I prove that? Because if I count, I'm trying to get good at putting my pick there in my pinky. It'd be 5, 10, 15, 20, 19, 
18, 17, 16. 12, 16 minus 12 is basically 6 minus 2, 6, 5, 4. So that'd be a four note away major third going from here to here. The inverse of that would be 12 minus four, which would be an eight note away minor six. All right, one more round, because I didn't hear no bell. I only stop stuff when I hear bells, because that's when food happens. And I didn't hear no bell. So I don't, I ain't stopping for nothing. I got, okay. So then I'm up, uh, I was here to this F and G. So the seventh of the Lydian, uh, aren't I on, what, 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 what is happening? I'm on the second of the Lydian is a two note away, major second, two note away, major second. How do I know? Because this would be five, 10, 15, and then 14, 14 minus 12 is basically four minus two, which would be a two note away major second if I measure, if I did it this way. And then the inverse of that is 12 minus two, which would be a 10 note away uh, minor seven going this way. And then we're back to the octave. All right, I'm tired.